my guess is that you would have never gone in for this next life or anybody unless and until they have given you some kind of a greedy proposition. Of course, that was only there. So the spiritual perspective is because I got, I was about to get fasa and Swamiya saved me from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, but so then my was But there was a big amount. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, I fell into, in a sense, greed. Yeah, even save, no? Ah, ah. So, no, if you no, buy from here, discount, you get this, discount you get of this, you get this, all, 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 all that. Right? Okay, yeah. So, in other words, the spiritual lesson is that there is something called, this is it. Huh. If you are, there is no such thing as a free lunch, as we say. And if somebody is, somebody is more than good to you, in terms of, okay, if you do this, then we will do this, then, the, for the few first few installments, we will pay, and then you get this yeah. kickback. But don't phone somebody. Don't let it. Don't let them. All that. So the spiritual perspective uh -huh. is now we learn that not to be greedy. Correct. That is what I'm trying to say. Yes. Now that as we say the grapes are sour, there is no other way to look at it. So you are saying I have given a donation uh, or something, or it is because of past karma. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. must have cheated somebody or something. Oh, no. That is besides the point. But the spiritual perspective would be that there is an honest line and anybody who is trying to give you a more than what is normally available in the market, you be better better be a little wary about it. You see, do you do and it is good that we are talking, there are lots of phone calls coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, fortunately for me, what I, I got my money back, why? Apart from Sovia, that, that was that. Fortunately for me, they would always call on the landline. Now you have a call recorder in your mobile. So I would, once I knew this, I made a call transfer into my, and the person doesn't know that I'm being, rec she's being recorded. And very sweet sounding girl. Oh. That's what I, <laughs> I felt a trap in. I yeah. somebody, a man who was very sweet. Always. So, I, I called the Reliance Insurance people, and I said, this is all that I have. All my, rec I showed them. Ta -ta -ta -ta, all these recordings are there. If you don't want me to take action, pay back my money, forget the whole damn thing. I was fooled, I know, it's over with. If not, I will have to proceed with the, whatever the thing. They just paid back the money without any question and that was over. Wow. I parted with one lakh of rupees. Wow. <laughs> so I got it. So thanks to Sonia and thanks to... You were very lucky. I did all this but she not, did not get the money. No, but the, the whole thing is you have to pressurize them. Okay, no, no. And, and I did quite, I, the person was sent home and I had my laptop and I said, you see all this? I said, all these are recordings. I see, then I'll, I'll proceed if you don't pay me back. I'm not bothered with you are concerned, somebody else, some agent, but anyway. So, coming back to what we are saying is that we, whenever there is a greed or there is some hatred or there is jealousy or whatever, all these so called aspects, you know, then that is where we get fuss out. And the law is such that it will bring us to balance. Now we have learned something like that. So, your Baba says the only possible means is the spiritual change of heart. It means if we have spiritual, if we see everything from a spiritual perspective, then this fearlessness will come in. That only will make people satisfied. So once you have a spiritual perspective, <coughs> there is no such thing as free lunch as I said, you know. Initially, initially I'm talking about when we just were together, you know, somehow or the other, we were being frequented by, by um, private detectives, <laughs> yeah, and they wanted to have access in the house and we have got a gift for you and stuff like that. I said, from where and for what? We are not interested in you. We are the people who give gifts to people. And, you know, if you want, please tell me, I'll give you a gift. And we never gave them any access in the house. Ultimately, that's a long story. So, that, that also, you know, we need to be a little alert these days. We have to be alert and Baba expects us to be very alert as not to do anything which will make us stumble into all these aspects of uh, which is there in the world, right? They want to be satisfied. In other words, men want to be satisfied. And when will we get satisfied? Greed, you know, more than this thing, possession, this thing. So we, we get into all this. Thing. They themselves do not know what they want. When they get it, they will be satisfied. For instance, now Baba is giving an example. Why do people drink? Those who labor hard all day, when they come home after a day's work, drink for stimulation. 
So why do people drink? Why do people have tobacco? Why do people have drugs? Why do people all that? If they get something else instead, so what Baba is trying to say is that instead of drinking, but why do people drink? They just want to forget themselves. But let us say if you remember God, if you meditate, or if you sit and talk with uh, God, you know, that also is a kind of a, uh, a relax, a stimulation. So if they get something else, you know, they would be satisfied with that and so on until the desire for stimulation disappears. So, for all material satisfaction created through desire and want, spiritual upliftment is needed. So the whole <coughs> crux of this particular answer is that spiritual uh, perspective of everything in life, once we start looking at that from a spiritual standpoint, from a spiritual angle, you know, then to that extent, the desires will diminish, they will automatically diminish and when they diminish, you know, then you don't have anything to fear because we are fearing because we want more things, we possess more, want things, we do not want our things to go away, you know, to, take, to be taken away by somebody <coughs> and all that, basically. <coughs>